Hello everyone, welcome to Retro Stack. Myself Karthik Pondusamy. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this video. In today's video, we are going to learn about how Hasset internally works in Java. You might hear somewhere saying that Hasset internally uses HashMap, but HashMap is kind of key value pair and Hasset is just using only keys, isn't it? Then how it actually relates, right? So without any further delay, let's get started. To demonstrate how Hasset internally works in Java, I have written a simple Java program where I am creating an object for the Hasset class and then I am trying to add three objects into it. So Hasset h is equal to new Hasset of using the Hasset of constructor, I am trying to create an object for Hasset class and then I am trying to add three objects. So first one I am trying to add object called red system, then Java, then triple zero one. Now let's see how it actually internally works. So we might hear Hasset internally uses HasMap, right? Now let's see how it actually works. If you guys go through the Oracle documentation of Hasset class, it, this is how the constructor looks like. So Hasset of, public Hasset of, internally they are creating a new set, new HasMap of. So they are creating a new HasMap object and that is the map object it is going to return back. And using this map object, whenever I called add method in the hash set, it internally, if you see here, this add method, whenever I call add method, it internally uses this map object. This map object was created in the constructor level and the same map object is used to add these objects. So this E is nothing but whatever the key, whichever we pass here, that will be passed over here to the add method and that will be passed to as a key to the put method. So as we know, in the hash map, we have a put method to add the objects, right? But hash map put method needs two things. One is key and value. And the key actually whatever we are passing in the hash set, it is uh, cascading over here and the value. So this is where the tricky part. What they did is for the value, they create one private static final variable which is present and that is of object type. So they create a new object. So using the object of class, right in java we have object of right object class right using that one they're creating a new object of this uh they're storing as a kind of a dummy a dummy object they're storing it as a value so when they store it as a key when i when i add hs dot add of red stack this red stack is traversing here and it is passed as a key to the hash map and the present is like an object okay and this present is a value to this particular key so what it do is as we know internally how the hash map works we have seen in a previous video also how hash map internally works. Whenever we say hash map dot put of key comma value using the hash code of the key, it is going to identify the uh, index, right? So hash map, since we create like hash set, then it is creating a new hash map of. So by default, it will have a size of 16 and the loading factor is 0.75, isn't it? And then it means like 0 to 15. This is the array of buckets it created internally. And within this bucket, it is going to store this value, right? So how it actually stores this value is when I say register of, so register when I, whenever I say register, it is going to store register at the uh, index value five. The value how this five comes is so for the e which is like register, it is going to get the hash code of register and then it is going to find the index using the algorithm, right? And that index let's say it is written as five. At the index five, it is going to create a linked list. Okay, which will have four data, four uh, four partition. One is first to store the key, second one is to store the hash code, and third one is to store the value, and the fourth one is a kind of a node. Okay, so when I say key, key is nothing but the register, whichever is cascading here, and the hash code is nothing but the hash code value of register. And let's say one, two, three, I'm taking a simple example, and the value is nothing but the present object, because when I say register, add of register, register is the key and the ob value is always present object, right? So the present object, which is a dummy object that will be stored as a value and node will be null because it is not referred to any other linked list. Next, when I try to add Java, so Java is passed as a key and for the Java key, the same present object will be passed as a value. And hence this hash code of Java will be calculated based on the, let's say two, one, four, five, six. Okay. I'm just taking it as example. And based on this one, let's say if the index is identified as one and at the index of one, it is going to create a linked list where it will have a key, hash code, value and node. Basically in the key, it will be stored as Java and the hash code will be 21456, whatever it is returning. 
and the value is always present object because for every key which you try to insert from the hash set, the value will be always the same object which is present object okay so that is why you guys see here as value is present object and similarly when i try to insert triple zero one as a key and even further let's say the index is identified as seven and the value if you see present object so this is how actually it internally works now let me go through simple other methods whichever exist in the hash set how it is actually reusing from the hash map so we have a method in hash set called hs dot let's say size so if i want to get a size of a hash set then i can use size of it internally uses map dot size of similarly if i want to know whether this hash set is empty or not it is going to return boolean if it is empty it is going to return as true if the hash set is not empty it is going to return as false so that is also logic in implemented like using this one map dot is empty this one is map dot size of and if you guys want to clear everything from the hash set you guys can use has hs dot clear off and that is also internally using map dot clear off so this is how hash set internally uses hash map and how hash map internally works so this is the logic behind it and in our previous video we have seen in detail about how the hash map internally stores the data and now what we are going to do is we are going to write the same program in our eclipse and we are going to run this uh, program in a debug mode so we will see how actually each line of code get executed and how this data is getting stored internally in a hash map i hope you guys will understand this concept very clearly hello guys here we are going to see the coding section for how the hash set internally works so as always i wish to go through with the agenda of the program so what we are trying to achieve by the end of this uh, video so the agenda of the program is to see how the hash set internally works so we are going to run this program in a debug mode so i have already written a program so that we will quickly go through the output by going into the debug of uh, the program so we are going to see the constructors for the hash set and also we are going to see whether duplicates are allowed in hash set or not basically it is not allowed and it won't throw any errors and also whether we are going to see the insertion order is maintained in hash set or not so basically it won't maintain the insertion order and also we are going to see it's going to allow the heterogeneous objects how it is going to allow heterogeneous objects and also similarly null insertion is allowed and we are going to see the implementation of hash set internally how it actually implements serializable and clonable so what i'm trying to do is so here i have written a simple java program so that you guys can uh, easily understand so basically i'm going to run this program in a uh, debug mode so how i can do is i can click on here so basically if i click on two times so basically i'm making a breakpoint here and then i can uh, go and run the program right click the project and the program and then run debug as and then say java application so basically this will run in a debug mode so it is asking us to switch it over yes we can switch it over to that window yeah this is the debug window where basically we have our program here and these are the variables and how the internal structure actually how it allocates in the jvm we can see it over in this panel and here is the console panel so what we can do is in the above we can see there are like a couple of uh, uh, menu bars in the where like in the tool where we can say step into f5 and step over f6 so step over f6 means if you click on this one it is actually executing line by line so you can stop one by one so basically if you click on f6 step over f6 means it is going to process only this particular line and we are going to see what it happens after this line got executed so let me click on this one okay when i click on this one so now the pointer is here it means like this particular line line number 23 has been executed and whatever was executed you can see that output here basically if you see here like i am trying to say has set hs equal to new has set of right so basically hs is a object so if you guys see here the hs the hs object has been created as we know that has set internally uses has map so that is why you guys can see here even though it is has set internally it is using has map so has map has been created internally with the threshold and load factor as 0.75 by default now again i am clicking on this uh, step over f6 so what it happens is it is going to execute only the line number 25 okay line number 25 has been executed and now it's a, it is in the 26th line but 25 has been executed so what we are trying to do is hs dot add of register so i am trying to add an element register uh, string object to the hash set so here in the hash map internally it is using hash map right so if you guys see here in the hash map it added the register if i open this one if you guys see here on the bucket number 5 it added register right you guys can able to see here right now let me step over again okay now another element 0001 which is also string it is also got added it is in the bucket number one let me open this one so 
sorry java so the uh, i am trying to add uh, the java so which is a string object so which got added in the bucket number 1 so you guys can able to see the current executed line uh, with the current bucket here by highlighting the uh, yellow color now again i am trying to execute the next line which is step over of f6 okay now 0001 has been executed and if you guys see here in the bucket number 7 this object has been added 0001 right and now i am trying to again execute the next line okay which is system dot out dot so there is no change over here but if you guys see here the console window we can able to see um, the system dot out dot println of the hash set so currently hash set has java register 0001 so here if you guys can see the insertion order is not maintained because we have inserted like based on register first and then java and then 0001 but if you guys see here in the output we are able to see it's the order is like java register and 0001 so it means like it is not maintaining the insertion order now what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to add a duplicate object which is 0001 to the same hash set let me execute it yeah if you guys see here it didn't add any uh, any again in any of the bucket because it identifies that 0001 is already exist in the another bucket key so it didn't do any um, uh, error message or any exception but it will simply ignores it ignores it so that is why we can say duplicates are not allowed but it won't throw any error when i try to execute another line again i want to print the hash set again if you guys see here java register and 0001 there is no other uh, duplicates got added right so now i am trying to add another element which is 1 2 3 which is heterogeneous object i want to try to see whether heterogeneous objects are allowed to add in the hash set so 1 2 3 is a integer but so far we have added only strings right so i am trying to step over okay if you guys see here it got added in the bucket number 11 if you guys see here 1 2 3 has been added as a string and i am trying to print this one by executing next line yeah so java register triple zero one and you guys can able to see 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 is a heterogeneous object which is nothing but it is a integer value and the uh, previous elements are string objects now i am trying to see whether null is able to add it in the hash set or not so again i step over yeah you guys can see here null is got added so null always add in the bucket number 0 so that is why you can see the 0 bu 0 bucket has been highlighted in yellow color so because key is null and now i am trying to print the value of hash set now yeah you guys can see here in this line so null has been added java then register tech and then 001 and then 123 so basically hash set has all the elements whatever we added so far now i am trying to add or create another hash set which is hash set hs1 i want to show you guys how it actually works so so far we have created only hash set hs object right now i am trying to create another object for hash set which is hs1 with the uh, value uh, capacity of 20 so when i say step over If you guys can see here, HS1 has been created, and if you guys see here, in the internally it is created a map with a threshold of 32. So the reason why the threshold is 32 is because of by default, if you guys see here, the previous map, the threshold is 12. But here I meant I mentioned like 20, right? So 20 plus 12, which is 32. So that is why the new hash set HS1 is created with a threshold of 32. So whenever we give like threshold value here, it means like it is going to add on top of it 12. so basically when you say uh, without giving anything let's say just hs equal to new hash set of it means it is going to create a hash map with default threshold value which is 12 but if you guys mention like let's say i want extra uh, memory or uh, space so then you can say hs 1 is equal to new hash set of 20 so whenever you guys mention any value here so it means like it is going to add on top of it the default value which is 12 so 20 plus 12 which is 32 that is why you guys can see in hs 1 you can say 32 but in case of hs it is only 12 so i just want to show how it actually works and by default it's 0.75 here also 0.75 but if i want to mention let's say instead of 0.75 loading factor if i want to say 0.85 as a loading factor then i am creating another um, object i want to show you guys yeah so hs2 if you guys see here in the hs2 it has been created with 0.85 with 32 so because i have mentioned 20 and 0.85 so these are all the different types of uh, constructors we can create um in the hash set based on our requirement we can create it and this is how hash set internally works in terms of adding a uh, value now i am going to stop this in the debug mode so now and then i am going to change the window perspective to normal window and i want to show you guys how the hash set internally implements so when i am also this one i can able to open the hash set so basically you guys can see here the hash set is a class which actually extends abstract set 
and this is the implementation of set interface and also clonable and also serializable so hasset is actually implementing set interface and then it is implementing clonable interface and serializable interface and also uh, this hasset has been uh, in java since 1.2 and also it is actually internally using uh, has map you guys can see here and if you guys open this one and you guys can see all the concepts whatever we have explained before if you guys see here hasset constructor is actually internally using a uh, has map constructor to create a map and then it is using all internal implementation of map interface so uh, i hope you guys have understood this concept and internally how the has set internally works so i would strongly recommend you guys to write the same program in your eclipse and try to see uh, how you guys can see this um, internal implementation of has set and let me know your comments in the comment section i will see you in the next video guys thank you i hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching i will see you in the next interesting video guys